I have to restart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait, we go this way. Awesome. Yeah, wait. Hey, there's a. Someone's playing solitaire. Fucking, okay, I want to play solitaire. Wait, 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 what happens if I go over here then? Oh, it's just the room with nothing. Is he gonna say anything if I go in here? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. <laughs> the line, TM. That's great shit. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Hmm, it's it's a fern. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <laughs> we just kind of went around in a complete circle. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you. After everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> oh, God, again. Fucking line. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? What are you, how about fuck off and I'll go this way. 
Or no. I like the fact you can actually go through these other doors. I was wondering. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I love the fact it uses the portals. The portal system, basically. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. <laughs> Fucking line. I hate the line. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. <laughs> Great logic. <laughs> oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well... Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently he's supposed to forget about all the previous restarts, though. In this one. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, okay, well, I guess uh, I guess we're back on the regular story track now. Uh, so I'll, I'll fast forward a bit. Oh, what's over here, I wonder? Oh, executive bathroom! Because the boss knows what the boss says goes with the boss. The boss has suffered losses and so the boss chooses. Executive bathrooms and Time Magazine. Oh, nothing else really here. Kinda like this toilet. Oh. Well, I can go this way now. Uh, business st 
Strat or or G? What? Oh, now let's uh, take the elevator. That's new. I, I I could swear that door didn't open before. I get the distinct feeling this doesn't actually go anywhere. Okay. Well, that was a piano. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to... Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story in time. 2845. Just trying different codes. Apparently they don't really do anything. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just <laughs> opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> oh, shit. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope, I think I'll go to escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Oh. Hey. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, 
Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Sweet. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? It shows sections have been added and altered throughout the, the core. It, it's identical to the first iteration. Okay. So it's like a developer's commentary thing? Interesting stuff. Ah. Uh. There's like, uh, filing cabinets. <laughs> Nature paintings. The office. Button sounds. E each sound is a mix of a keystroke and a synthesized tone. <laughs> and here's the credits. Good shit. Oh, hey, this computer's here. Office computers. Employee database. Okay. Can we turn them on? No. Uh, boss's office. Uh, screens from the development of the boss's office. So this is like in development stuff. An office clock. It's cool. We get to kind of just look at stuff. Employee lounge. The underground. Narration outtakes. He traveled upward to the power source at the top of the now look closely to end this in See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. Where were all it's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitive. Oh, I don't have how about they're throwing a surprise there. party for him for all his buttons and these You'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just gonna make this easy on you. Stanley Bush. I, I, I can't really hear them. It, uh, I don't really understand how that works. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to have a look around. Like, office clock. Alright, let's see what's up here. The freedom ending. <coughs> Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Well, we didn't see that one yet. It's also the freedom ending as it was in the beta. Oh, I want to have that. There's like more shit to look at. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Zending. Uh, zending. No, Zending, which was cut and merged with another part of the game. Looks like Portal. Zending lovers. Well, we haven't seen that one yet. Sending model. It's a abandon and change it before launch. Game is now paused. Escape menu. Uh, we had end. Uh, we had ended. That the only ended. What? We had we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Very very few players realized uh, <laughs> realized that this is what they were supposed to do. Interesting. Apartment timer. It would give you 15 seconds and not picking it up would lead to a different ending. Okay. There's a cargo lift. 
Uh, so they, they obviously changed the... Uh, sorry, I didn't look at the elevator in that. Where the fuck am I? Uh, there's a meeting room. So this is just like, like, literally an ending with all these extras. Um... The flow of the hallways following the two, first two doors. Uh... So, yeah, they, they, they debated changing it. Uh, where's the other room? Fuck, I don't even know where I am anymore. Trailers. Uh, so this is the first one, but it doesn't actually show anything, so... Oh, wait. We get to watch a movie. Um, just, <laughs> this is, this is just weird. They, they put all this elaborate time into this, this fucking room or this, this area showing all the stuff they did in development. It's just a ton of chairs. All right. I don't really want to watch this. I want to go back in here for a moment. They they had the, the the monitor room elevator. Uh, when players found it too difficult to remember which was up, uh, they was placed in two endings. The countdown was w the one we we already did that one. Uh, another freedom ending. We didn't we didn't quite look at wait, no no we didn't we didn't go over here. And then we'll explore the rest of what's up there. Unless I'm not supposed to be here. The office. This is uh, the maintenance room. Early version of the maintenance room. <laughs> and a bunch of uh, <laughs> larger words. War zone. Early in development, the ending. Uh, we designed an ending where <laughs> Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. It's too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Alien base. <laughs> and narrator emails. How do you stay in shape? <laughs> so they uh, emailed the the narrator. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't think the Stanley Parallel is going to help you make any friends. I'm sorry. Uh, here's the lounge. Or stuff from the office. Okay, we've already seen the phone. Okay, so let's just go. This leads back into the uh, same room. Well, there's actually this Stanley's office. Uh, so uh, it's evolved into pretty much just more cabinets. It didn't even evolve that much. Game design mock-up. Uh, William, the level designer. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well, that's, that's where we can leave if we want to. We haven't quite... I don't think we fully looked at everything here yet. Um, I think there was like one or two more things we... Wait. No, we've been there. So, like, yeah, yeah it's just a confusing layout, so... And we've we've looked at that. Okay, fine. We'll we'll leave. We'll we'll go do something else. That was a fun experience. So there's a, at least one ending we haven't seen yet. <laughs> oh, look at these two! How they wish to destroy one another! How they wish to control one another! How they both wish to be free! Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. 
Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let. Okay, what if I quit?